Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET here at the Tizen Developer Conference in San Francisco. What I've got is a demo here of gesture control on a regular, ordinary Samsung Gear 2 smartwatch. So Samsung's research team out of Spain has put gesture control on this device and with it you can play a game, you can turn music volume up or down, you can maybe turn on and off the light switches, air conditioning, that sort of thing. Uh, so it's pretty simple. You basically engage the app that you want to use, you tap on the screen, make a very clear decided motion and return to the start position and that tells whatever app contextually that you're working with that you want to fulfill that task. So for an example, we're going to play a little game. It's called Evil Fish. So to play the game, I start, the fish goes down, my wrist goes down, and back up to the start position, and I knocked him out. Take that, you evil fish. I'm really good at this game. Apparently, today, apart from developers and apart from the engineers, I'm the only person who's played this game. So in the future, they're going to add pushing and pulling, but for right now, we've just got the four directions, north, south, east, and west. I want them to add actual punching. So right now, I'm in the music player remote. I tap the screen. I make my movement to the right to either turn on the song or to advance it if it's done. I can press the screen again and raise my arm to increase the volume. I can also lower my arm to decrease the volume. And if I want to stop, I just tap the screen and I move my arm to the left and then back to the start position. Once again, this is all in preview phase right now. When are we going to see the technology in real devices like the Gear 2? We don't know yet, but hopefully soon. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET. You can catch even more great videos at CNET.com.